so far. What do you think has to happen before any of the cool stuff you've seen already starts? What has to happen? Somebody, do you just get an idea and start doing it? What has to happen? You gotta think about it, and then what do you gotta do? You're gonna create it. You probably gotta write it down, right? So this is what we're gonna talk about real quick. We're gonna talk about why you have to stay in school if you really wanna be a game developer, okay? Look at this, you know what this is? I want everybody to look at this big document right here. How many pages is this document? You know what this is? Before any of these people in the building started doing anything on this game, this document had to be written. This is the design document. It says everything that's going to happen in the game before anybody starts working. Everything. 75 pages of writing. That's not easy. It takes a little bit of work, too. And look at this. Let me show you this. What is this? Has anybody ever heard of a script? What's a script? It's all the words that the the people in the game are gonna say. Like the characters, you ever go to a movie? The words they say, it has to be written into a script first. This is the script for the game you guys are looking at. And look at it. Look at all the words. 14 pages of words. Just so all the characters have something to say in the game. This has to be written first too. This is the story, and this is all the words the characters are gonna say. All right, I got another question for you guys. After we create the characters, what do we got to do? We got to give them personalities, right? We got to we got to we got to decide what our characters are. We got to decide how old they are. We got to decide if they're girls or boys. We got to decide where they're from. We got to decide all kinds of things. We got to decide their story, right? And look, also has to all be written down before any of this cool stuff can start. There's no way that any of this cool stuff can start on any of these games until all of this stuff is down on paper first, right? Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Do you guys like to write stories? No. no. Some yeah, some no, huh? No. You guys, you don't like to write stories? No. What about, what about lines for characters to say? No. You don't think that would be fun? No, because it's just writing. But you guys said you want to be game designers. Yeah, but it's just writing. But it has to, it has to be first, right? Look at this, look at this, look at this boring sheet of paper right here. What does this mean? No, this is the order of the entire game. This is the order of how the game is played when you play the game. And it was on paper before any of these guys did any of this cool stuff. I'm out. You're out? <laughs> He's out. Are you guys still going to make games? Yeah. Okay, let me show you another thing. Look how cool this stuff is. All right, I'm going to show you one more cool thing. You saw Terrell talking about level design, right? Yeah. Did he show you all the level designs on paper? No. Look at this. Watch this. So here's one level on paper. All right? And then look at this. We have to go in and we have to design every level on paper before we even start building all this cool stuff. Yeah, we gotta know how to. We gotta know how it's gonna work. We gotta. We gotta get an idea of how it's gonna play before we can start spending all this money and making the game, right? And that's. And we do. We do. We write it on paper. We draw it on paper. We lay it out on paper. We write all the lines first. We we discuss the story. We discuss all the characters. We do all that stuff before any of this cool stuff starts to happen. Doesn't sound super fun, does it? But it's the most, it's really the most important part. It's the part you have to do first. What? So the game can be created. So the game can be created. That is exactly right. That is exactly right. You can't start creating it until it's all done on paper. And then look at this. We're going to do, we're going to do a fun little thing here. And we're going to see how good your guys' guessing skills are. Okay? So. Here's our design doc. You saw that. You saw that it's 75 pages of words and designs and math and English and just every possible every possible class you could have in school, right? And then I showed you guys this. I showed you guys our script. I showed you guys, and then I'm going to show you 
One more big document that I wanted you guys to see. This is our, these are, this is, this, that's all uh, uh, upgrades and stuff, but I wanted to show you this. This is every single character and every single line in the game, okay? So when you think about this, I want to ask you guys a question, and I want to see who has the best guess here. How many individual unique words in the game, and what that means is we only count one word one time. How many different words do you think are in Orcs Must Die 3? And this is a guess. Approximately how many different words? A dozen. It's higher. It's a lot higher. How about you? 1,020. That's a pretty good guess. What about you? I thought you were out. You saw all these documents and you're like, I don't want to make games anymore. This is crazy. How many words? 90,000. 90,000. How about you? 85. Anybody else have a guess? All right. Remember those guesses. Here's your second question. How many individual sentences or lines do you think are in the game? How many? 400? A dozen? A million. Anybody else? All right, look at this, guys. I made this for you. And I wanted you to see this. There are approximately 5,700 unique words in a, in a computer game. This is going to be a test, I'll bet you. These would be things you want to remember. I'll bet your teachers are going to put this on a test. Look how many lines there are. Approximately 1,500 lines. And why do we do that? Why do we put the game in 12 different languages? So people at that can understand the game. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you play it. You can play it in Japan. You can play it in Spain. You can play it anywhere. Germany. You can play it in Germany. Yeah, we take all of these words and all of these lines and we put them in 12 different languages. You can't play it in space. <laughs> Maybe in the future, though. So that's, that's what happens, guys. That's real game design. That's where it starts. All of these words, all of these documents, all of this writing, and all this thinking. That's where it starts. So now you guys know where it starts and where it ends. How to make games, right? All right. Thanks for coming to our store.